let us try to derive the output resistance for nmos current mirror we have already seen the working of this particular current mirror and this is the logic diagram for nmos current mirror now what we shall do in this particular video is we shall draw the equivalent models for this transistor q1 and q2 and we shall try to find the output resistance r0 so if you have not seen this particular video please check out my previous videos so this is the logic diagram for nmos current mirror which contains two transistors connected back to back q1 and q2 and here vgs1 will be same as vgs2 and the current that is flowing at the input side will be same as the output current so that's the reason i out is same as i in and here the thing is this drain is connected to gate now let us try to draw the small signal equivalent model for transistor q1 that is case number one and later we shall draw the small signal model for transistor q2 that will be case number two so case number one is for q1 case number two is for q2 we already know the small signal equivalent model whenever an nmos is considered so we know that gate current ig is equal to zero for both the nmoses which can be either nmos or pmos so that the reason vgs will be zero which is denoted with open circuit so here this part is open circuited and this current is drain to source current drain to source current which is depending upon gate to source so that the reason it should be written as gm times vgs but why i am writing here suffix as one is we are dealing with first transistor so let me show it so this is q1 which is for transistor number one that is indicated with suffix one so this is gm1 times vgs1 and you can write either rds1 or r0 when channel and the modulation is considered into the picture so this is small signal equivalent model only for transistor q1 now let us try to apply some kind of external potential to this and let us try to derive this so if you observe here i am considering an external supply voltage in order to calculate the output impedance so i am writing that particular supply voltage as vy because of which there is a flow of current called as iy rest everything circuit is same so from here to here this is a small signal equivalent model for transistor q so let us try to apply kirchhoff's current law so here there is a flow of current iy in this particular region so sum of current entering is equal to sum of current leaving so here it is entering this part it will leave and here also it will leave so this can be written as i y is equal to i is equal to v by r we know that ohm's law v equal to i into r or else i can be written as v by r so here i y is the current that is entering and the current that is leaving here this can be written as v y by r d s 1 plus this is the current which is leaving g m 1 times vgs1 so like this we got equation number one sum of current entering is equal to sum of current leaving and this voltage vy is again same as vgs1 so vy is same as vgs1 so you can substitute that particular part in equation number one so let me write it here once again which is vy by rds1 plus gm1 times vgs1 now let us try to replace this particular vgs1 with vy so iy is equal to vy by rds1 plus gm1 into vy now you can take this vy as common so here iy becomes this vy common so this is 1 by rds1 plus gm1 if you want you can cross multiply this part so this can be written as 1 plus gm1 into rds1 divided by rds1 so that's what i mentioned here this is from first kcl next vy is same as vgs1 and let us try to replace this vgs1 with vy and here vy i have taken common and i have cross multiplied it so once we are done till here we want output impedance which is z out which is v by i so i want vy by iy so vy by iy means this term becomes rds1 divided by 1 plus gm1 into rds1 so that's what i got here which is z out called as output impedance this particular part can also be written as 1 by gm1 in parallel with rds1 
we already know that if two resistors are connected in parallel it can be written as r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 similarly this part can be written as 1 by gm1 into rds1 whole divided by 1 by gm1 plus rds1 so if you solve this particular thing it becomes rds1 divided by gm1 whole divided by 1 plus rds1 into gm1 whole divided by gm1 so this gm1 gm1 gets cancelled left over part is rds1 whole divided by 1 plus rds1 into gm1 so that's what i got it here so simply you can replace it with 1 by gm1 parallel with rds1 the things which i have explained you here i have included it in the form of text two resistors connected in parallel so it is r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 here 1 by gm1 is in parallel with rds1 so after doing this we will again get the same term but among 1 by gm1 and rds1 rds1 is greater than 1 by gm1 so you can simply neglect this particular rds1 term so simply you can neglect this rds1 term so for entire transistor q1 the equivalent model will be only 1 by gm1 so entire equivalent model so we know that this is q1 this is source gate and drain so the equivalent model for this will be replaced with one single resistor like this with answer 1 by gm1 so we are done with only q1 now let us do it for q2 also by including this q1 now the entire circuit looks something like this which contains two transistors q1 and q2 so for q1 this is the answer which we got which is 1 by gm1 again the small signal equivalent for transistor q2 is again same but here only suffix gets changed which is vgs2 this is gm2 vgs2 and this rds2 is because of channel length modulation again i'm considering some external supply voltage and again i'll try to derive the same thing but here if you observe if you observe here as vgs2 is zero if vgs2 is zero this complete part will be open circuited so see here as vgs2 is open this is written as vgs2 is equal to zero. so as vgs2 is zero this complete part will be zero means simply it can be replaced with open circuit so the leftover term will be only rds2 followed by our external sub is vx because of this vx there is a flow of current called as ix so finally as i want the output resistance which is blindly this one so output resistance is same as rds2 which we got as output impedance or resistance is again same as rds2